Bond. Can you just come round quick? Stars in the cars. Uh-huh. So it's basically a show. So, uh, do you drive, Nick? I do. Right. So everyone remembers the first ever car. It's usually it's usually a, an old banger or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. So uh, basically, so I'll I'll meet up with a celebrity. And we'll get three cars from different parts of the life. It's usually the first car they ever had. The car when they first started doing all right for themselves and and and, and the latest car uh-huh. they've had. And and basically it's a bit like this is your life through cars. Amazing. So we get we find the car and it's the exact car, you know. So what were your first car? My first car was like I inherited my mum's like old Honda. Magic was yeah. it a jazz? It was no, it wasn't a jazz, it was a civic. Because I've got to say, Honda jazz drivers. Should be banned. Why? In fact, the Honda Jazz should be banned. In <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like that name, do you? Honda Jazz. I've never been behind one that's gone over 50 miles per hour. <laughs> Ever. I don't know what... Have they got a limiter on them or something? I don't know, but... but uh, so, we, we, so we'll find your Honda. Uh-huh. And, the actual uh, one. The actual one. Wow. You know, where we can, it, it's always the actual one, or exactly the same yeah. model. And then we'll we'll kind of unveil it. You won't know it's there. We don't tell them any of the cars are. It's always a surprise. Yeah. And then we get in. It's just me and them. Just a few cameras in there. And then off we go, just driving where they grew up. And they'll tell us stories about, oh, you know, what they got up to in the car, where they used to go. when, You know, and it's all, it's just like, it's a story of their life through the cars, really. It was great. It was an absolute pleasure to do. I like that because I imagine there's so many stories that you wouldn't necessarily get out of it. Because I imagine when you're they like, tell me about more. your teenage they open years. Up more in the car. You probably like remember the best bit. But then when you're in the car, you're probably like, oh, I remember yeah. this happened and I drove that. I remember actually, weirdly, I just remember then, I remember the first time I took it out for a drive, I passed my test and everything. Yeah, <laughs> passed my test, and then my mum was like, "Yeah, you can drive drive the car. We've got you insured on it." It was my mum's. Yeah, and I drove it. And um, do you know, like certain cars, when you put them into reverse, you have to like push it down or oh do, yes. or like down and yeah. in. D- so, yeah. Now the car I learned in, you didn't have to do that too. Right. So I remember doing in Oldham a three point turn, right. And I just drove forward and then I couldn't get it in reverse. It was just across a road. <laughs> and I had to like call my dad and be like, how'd you put this car in reverse? He was like, you're a bloody idiot. <laughs> and I was like, Wait, but he, he blocking can't, like he, four lanes of traffic. I was like, the Honda Civic. <laughs> it's true, but cars, no, I mean, cars are so easy. Like you'll get in a car, half of them you press a button to start. You yeah, know, I don't like go, that because uh, what's no. the point? Who cares? It's like, you know, press I, I, I walked through here today, but a lot of the staff, they're all young whippersnappers here. Now, half of them haven't even been in a car with a choke. <laughs> <laughs> They don't even know what one is. Do you know I, what I mean? It's I do like, remember the choke. Well, I, oh, it came, uh, well we, I, I never experienced the choke, the choke myself. Put a peg behind it, a peg, close peg, to keep it out. What was that for? It was just to let the old petrol into the engine, oh so God, it got warmed up. Because at first you go, it's a bit lumpy. <laughs> you get it warmed up. I just love. I just. I always love coming on the show because I know most of this is going. What? Is he on about chokes and lumpy? Chokes and Bon Jovi. Ask your dad. He'll tell you. He knows what he's on about. So it's, uh, yeah, so we got all them cars from back in the day where you were saying that uh-huh. you couldn't find the reverse. All those kind of cars. Got them set up. But you're right, people do open up. Yeah, I bet. And, and uh, I'm just chatting away, you know, in a non interviewy kind of style. Uh-huh. Here. And, uh, and sometimes they would say things, and I'd be thinking, they do know this is going on telly. No, it's on telly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was great. I mean, I spent uh, a few days driving around Manchester with Sean Ryder in an old yellow escort. Amazing. And that is a good day God, out. That, I'll, I will, that was one of the best ever for me because, I mean, some of the stuff he was talking about, I'm not in on the edit. But whoever edited it, I, I think there must be about 30 seconds of footage. It was just, everything was just all about kind of from back in the day and everything he got up to and what have you. But he was so interested. In, and I found that with all, all the people we had on, I just, I was interested in them all. Yeah. And I think it shows that, you know, yeah. you watch it and what Because Definitely. Because you, you could be on chatting away and you're like, oh, whatever, yeah, but, you know. Yeah. But it was great. But what I did find is that a lot of them couldn't drive. Oh, really? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Well, that's great which, when you're which, in a car with them. Exactly. Yeah. I would be scared of getting into a car with Sean Ryder. <laughs> and we're going to play a game in, in a little bit with you, with people in their cars. You'd have to get in the car with them. Could we have <laughs> your horn? Yeah, what? Was, was that, was go that on, it, Give Scott? it again, Scott, go on. Oh, that's better. Oh, oh it sounds basic. Is that better? So, is that that better? sounds great, that. yeah. It's quite a yeah, beefy it's, it's horn. Not, not the best. It's, it, do you think it's beefy? Yeah, quite a beefy horn. Yeah, it sounds a bit... Oh, I thought it was always a bit naff. No, it sounds quite 
quite chunky, that one. Okay. Will you please not say beefy horn again? Why? Oh, okay. <laughs> just, just don't. I'm not having beefy horn. I'm, I'm not having breakfast yet. <laughs> Amy, before we go any further, if you drive a convertible in England, you should be put in jail. <laughs> <laughs> because they should not be sold in the UK. <laughs> what's, the the point? Know, what's the point? Away, what's the point? In fact, the salesman should be put in jail. Yeah. Because yeah, that's that coming fault? off once a year. <laughs> <laughs> if you're lucky. Usually on FA Cup final day, it's always sunny there. <laughs> also, like, even in a hot country, annoying, because if you're stationary, too hot. If you're moving, still too cold. So, exactly. Yeah, and, and Amy, exactly. so you've got the roof down? Yeah. What is the car? No, you uh, can't tell. Oh, she nearly went for it then, Nikki. Nikki, I nearly had her then. I nearly had her. God. Oh, I had her on the end of the oop then. That's the whole game. Amy oh. was about to say, it's a... No, I was teasing. I was teasing. Okay, oh, good. Lovely. Good, Amy. Lovely. Good. Okay. Um, so you're going to try and give Paddy the horn. Are you ready to do the horn? Yeah, is Paddy ready, though? I was born ready, Amy. Let me tell you. <laughs> okay. A Here Amy, give it yeah? to us. Okay. Is it made I, of Lego? Is that an, are you actually playing an harmonica? <laughs> it's an harmonica. She's playing, she's driving around Coventry with the roof down, playing an harmonica, and people are pointing at you, Amy Gwynn. Here she is. Here she is. <laughs> <laughs>